Hi, I'm OEA President Scott Tomorrow. Time for my weekly update. Uh, just got back from Las Vegas where I was joined by over 90 OEA members participating in NEA's Leadership Summit. Uh, we had a good group of people that were there in person as well as some uh, people who participated virtually, all honing their skills uh, as they continue along their leadership journey within our union. Uh, one thing that unites everybody uh, the OEA members who were there and the hundreds of NEA uh, members who were together for the first in-person gathering in two years uh, is a commitment to the highest quality public education for our students, advocating for good working and learning conditions for our fellow members and strong public schools across the nation. Uh, I am coming away inspired and also fired up to continue advocating here in Ohio for issues that are really important. Two that I wanna highlight. One is House Bill 327. This is the so-called divisive concepts bill uh, that would require a whitewashing of our history uh, and limit the freedom of educators to provide students with the honest education that they need and deserve. That bill uh, is stalled at the moment in committee. Uh, we need to continue taking action to ensure that the Ohio House of Representatives kills that bill once and for all. Uh, so far, the activism has been through the roof. Uh, we need you to take action now if you haven't yet, and if you already have, send a little reminder message to your state representative to say no on House Bill 327. The other thing that we need your help on is uh, taking action to support Jeff Rhodes and Rob McPhee, who are seeking re-election to the STRS board uh, for active seats. And if you happen to know any retired educators, encourage them to support Rita Walters uh, for the retired seat on the STRS board. The STRS board is gonna be meeting this week to consider potential uh, benefit enhancement package that is possible only uh, because of the sound leadership and strong investment practices and management practices of the STRS system. We have seen Thanks to the leadership of Rob and Jeff and Rita and other OEA members on the STRS board, an improvement in the funding status of the system to the point now where the system is, is about 88% funded a few years ago, uh, they only had 55 cents for every dollar in, in promised benefits. We have gone through a lot and thanks to their leadership, we are in the strongest position as a retirement system in decades. Uh, we appreciate that. We all want to be able to count on uh, a safe and secure retirement. And by the way, that uh, comes with health care benefits thanks to their leadership as well. Please be looking for ways in the month of April to uh, find your ballot, vote for uh, Rob and Jeff on the active election for STRS. Uh, encourage people to vote for Rita on the retired election for STRS. Um, those ballots are going to be mailed at the beginning of April. Be on the lookout uh, for that. Finally, as, as uh, we get into spring very soon, uh, as the weather is starting to warm up a little bit, um, I am very excited that along with Jeff Wensing and Mark Hill, uh, we are engaged on a listening tour, local associations, uh, schools across the state, uh, in recent weeks, I had a chance to visit Oberlin, uh, Columbus, Norway. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be in Westerville. Uh, over the course of the next six weeks, uh, we're going to be uh, visiting at least 30 different locals across Ohio. Uh, it is a great way to reconnect in person, see the amazing things that our educators are doing with students, to understand firsthand some of the challenges and issues that members are facing to really inform how we continue to advocate uh, and organize on everyone's behalf. Uh, I hope to see you in person soon. That's all I have for this week. Make it a great week.